Stephen, please. Dearly beloved, we're gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together Hunt Fulweiler and Marcy Pike in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying unto all the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ also adorned and beautified with his presence in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate these two persons come now to be joined. If anyone can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. Hunt and Marcy, I have just a brief word I want to say before we continue. It's the love of Hunt and Marcy that has brought each one of us to this place today. The two of you are about to enter into a covenant whose foundation is love. And love is a living thing. It lives within your hearts. And like all living things, if it's nourished, it'll grow and it'll bloom and it'll produce fruit that will be, will be a blessing to the both of you for your whole lives. But if it's neglected, it can wither and God forbid it can die. So I just want to impress upon you that that which you have in your hearts that has brought you to this place today is the most precious gift that God has given us on this earth for humans to enjoy together. The scriptures tell us in 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 through the first part of verse 8, love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave itself rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Hope, love, never fails. I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God, before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered the holy covenant you're about to make, you do now declare before this company your pledge of faith each to the other. Be well assured that if these vows are kept inviolate as God's word demands, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage, will grant you fulfillment in it, and will establish your home in peace. Now, I'm going to ask these questions of you. Hunt, will thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? I will. Marcy, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? to live together in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live? I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Let me have her right hand, buddy. Okay, I'll look at her and repeat after. 
I hunt, take thee, Marcy. I hunt, take thee, Marcy. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. Okay, Marcy. Look at him and repeat after me. Okay. I, Marcy, take thee hunt. I, Marcy, take thee hunt. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. be this hard to, uh, from this day forward. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. I got that. For better, for worse. <laughs> for better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. Okay, you can really say it. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying unto all the uniting of this man and this woman through the church of Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Would you all face each other? Put this on her ring finger now and hold it there and repeat after me. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Repeat after me. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Would you turn and face me and join right hands? For as much as Hunt and Marcy have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings, I declare that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That which God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Will you bow your heads, please, and let's pray. Eternal God, you are the creator of all things. You are the giver of life. You sustain us with your myriad of gifts and graces. You enable us, Lord, for those tasks of life and for those adventures of life. And we come now, Lord, to ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ the blessings of your grace upon Hunt as he enters into this new an exciting adventure and life. And Lord, I pray for your grace upon him that he may be equipped to be all that he must be and needs to be as a husband to Marcy. Lord, I pray for Marcy 
I ask that your grace would rest upon her, that she may be filled with all those spiritual gifts and graces that will enable her to be the kind of a wife that you have called and intended her to be. We thank you, Lord, that you give us your grace and that the love which they uh, have brought has brought them to this occasion today, that that love would grow and that it would indeed bloom and blossom into a life of blessing and joy and happiness and peace. And we bless them now in your name through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now you are invited to the reception in the tent to my right, but we ask that uh, you would withhold any expressions of congratulations and best wishes to Hunt and Marcy until after the photographer has had the opportunity to do his job. Thank you.
First dance as a married couple.
Now I believe it's time for the uh, ball and dance with our father. Come on. Thanks, Lacey. Huh? What's up, man? Hey, we got to see that soon. Is that one of those? 